gorgeous. Time for another 360 review and my Star Wars collection just got a lot hairier with the brand new Chewbacca animatronic interactive figure. Let's take a 360. My wife is a big fan of the fuzzball and I just had to give this to her for her birthday. He comes in a gigantic window box so you can try him out before you buy him. And as you can see from the sticker, he is a Toys R Us exclusive. The box boasts 31 points of articulation, but I don't think this guy is really meant to be used as a traditional figure. All of the posing that he needs to do, he can do on his own. Now to warn the serious collectors right off the bat, this is not a Hot Toys or Sideshow or even a Hasbro toy. This is Thinkway Toys? I've never heard of this company, so I can't really vouch for the quality or durability. But he didn't break within five minutes of opening him, so that's something. He takes three AA batteries, and he's in demo mode when you first get him, so you have to open him up and change him over to regular mode. I do believe this guy is one sixth scale because he is a whopping 17 inches. As you can see from the lack of detail in his feet and hands, this guy's meant to be more a toy than an adult collectible sitting in your glass Daytolf shelf. Now I fancy myself an adult collector more than a toy collector. I like having things in glass Daytolf cabinets or on shelves just to look at, not so much to play around with. But this guy is super fun. I love that there's more to him than just pushing a button on his belly to make him do his thing. So if he's been off for a while, you can press the button to wake him up. And then if you press it again and hear one beep, his microphone is activated. If you speak to him quietly, he'll speak back and do some cute little movements. And if you raise your voice, he goes into attack mode. If you're not feeling very chatty and you want the same actions, you can raise his left arm and he'll go into talk mode. And you can raise his right arm and he'll go into combat mode. He includes Chewbacca's signature bowcaster with blaster sounds right from the movies which he raises in attack mode and he actually cradles with his free hand. And as you can see, Chewbacca is very thorough. I really like the effort that went into the animatronic actions here. His whole body shifts, his arms rise up, his mouth opens and closes, and his head moves back and forth. He also comes with Chewbacca's trademark bandolier, which is made of soft plastic. And the fur on this guy is awesome. They really nailed that authentic Chewbacca look. Some Chewy figures come with fur that's too neatly brushed, but this guy is a walking shag carpet. He looks perfect. And it's also great that they use different colors of fur to give him that patchy look. And I think he fits in great with the 12-inch figures. Here he is with Sideshow's Han Solo. As you can see, Chewie towers over Han, just like he's supposed to. This guy is just adorable. I love how angry he is. I got some great audio samples here. The growling, the roars. He sounds so ferocious. Like I said in my Hot Toys Robocop review, I'm not usually a fan of toys that have sound effects in them, but this is just so charming. It really gives the toy some personality. He may be adorable, but don't upset him. It's not wise to upset a Wookiee. Definitely one of the coolest Chewbacca figures I've ever seen. What it lacks in detail, it makes up for in just sheer fun. So you have a question or comment, scroll down and go to town. And to join the tribe, hit subscribe. Nerd must stay. Hadouken!